trains to pull, so while the bigger engines pull passenger trains, Bill and Ben helped with goods. This is lots more fun than up at the Clyworks. It's not bad. It doesn't matter where you were. You see me haven't got long left. Shut up! And Diesel oiled away. The next day the Fat Controller came to see the twins. Bill? Ben? I have lots of shunting for you to do at Lower Tidmouth Yards. Yes sir! Yes sir! So off they went. It was hard work at the station, but they did their shunting very well. The next day the Fat Controller came back to see the twins again. Bill? Ben? I should work so well yesterday. I have a big job for you two. What is it, sir? Please do tell us. Calm down. I need you to take a passenger service from Lower Tidmouth to Nafford Station. Wow! That's amazing. We won't let you down. Bill and Ben shunted the coaches for the train and were soon ready. The coaches were shiny and new, fit for a king. Are you ready, little brother? Little? How? Anyway, are you ready? To ready as all ever be. So slowly but surely they started. It was difficult at first, but they soon sped up. Faster! Faster! Ah, I feel awful! Bill wailed as the train came to a standstill. Alright, Bill. He was trying to go too fast, that's why. Ah, oh, bother. On our first passenger train as well. But we're not stuck. If Ben tries his hardest, we might just make it to the station in time. The drivers agreed. Ben puffed his hardest and Bill kept lookout and the train was soon moving again. Come on! Ben groaned as his wheel started to turn. It took a lot of hard work, but they were soon puffing into Natford. They were just on time and just stuck their heads out the window to cheer on Ben. When they finally stopped, passengers sprinted out of the coaches, chattering about Bill's heroics. They took pictures of him and spoke to him until almost dark. That night, the two engines spoke at their sheds. Thanks for pulling the train today, Brutha. I didn't do it all. We did it with teamwork, little Brutha.